Hello, beautiful world! So today, I decided to break up with my girlfriend. I guess you can now say... There are no strings on me. I, I don't even have a girlfriend, okay? So let's talk Marvel's Avengers Age of Ultron. The summer blockbuster season is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. And we can all agree that Earth's Mightiest Heroes will be the big money makers of this summer. So let's talk about the good stuff. Let's start off by giving Joss Whedon a round of applause, man. The man has proven that he is the world's greatest juggler. He managed to juggle so much into this movie and still not lose us. He managed to illustrate all the different relationships in this ensemble cast. We see the difference between Tony Stark's and Bruce Banner's relationship and we also see the difference between Tony Stark's and Steve Rogers' relationship. We also see how different Black Widow's relationship is with Hulk and Hawkeye. Completely different. Joss Whedon also introduces new characters into this movie without even stealing the thunder of the original cast. And he managed to throw in references to future Marvel films, which is very exciting, of course. I can see why Joss Whedon decided not to go with Avengers 3. I mean, these movies are big and he just threw in so much. These movies really must drain the life out of him. Another thing I really liked about this movie was Hawkeye. This time around, he really shines. He's not a zombie 90% of the whole movie. I mentioned that we get introduced to these new characters. We meet the Maximoff twins, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, played by Elizabeth Olsen and Aaron Taylor Johnson. And they both worked very, very well in this movie. Scarlet Witch could totally control my mind any day. Just want to throw that out there. And of course we get introduced to a new character, Vision, played by Paul Bettany. This was my personal favorite character. He completely stole the show and I loved it. Just like the first Avengers movie, story, action, sense of humor were very crucial elements to make this a good movie. It was nice to see that there were still some funny moments in this movie, just like the first one. However, it does get a little dark, a little gritty, and why not? That's good. I mean, you can't play the same tune over and over with these movies. Now let's move on to the stuff that I just had to criticize. Of course, the movie did have its flaws. There's no denying that. It kind of bothered me that nothing was mentioned about Iron Man 3, about Tony Stark removing the arc reactor, or how he says that he's going to stop being Iron Man. Uh, there's no development from that. Are we just to there? Are we just to believe that Iron Man three never happened? I can totally get behind that because I just loved Iron Man three. Being sarcastic, I totally fucking hated Iron Man three. Now let's move on to Ultron himself, the main antagonist of this whole movie. I felt like the evolution of Ultron was very rushed. One minute he's a very fragile and broken down prototype in the Avengers Tower, and the next minute we find him already evolved into Megatron. I mean, Ultron. Not to mention, I didn't find Ultron very menacing. James Spader did a great job portraying the antagonist, but he just wasn't scary to me. Another thing I found kind of meh about the whole movie was the action itself. The fight scene, especially the one towards the end, was a little too similar, especially the, uh, especially the last one. It was too similar to the first Avengers movie. It, it's, it's cool, don't get me wrong, it's very cool. It's just like, alright, I mean, I felt like I've already seen it already. Let's try something a little more fresh, I guess, when it comes to action. I mean, but don't get me wrong, I really did like the fight scene between Hulk and Hulkbuster. That was just pretty epic. I, I, that was very, very good. But there were some other fight scenes with Ultron where it was just a little dare I say, two Transformers? And during a fight scene with Ultron and somebody, it just seemed like the CG on Ultron was a little too Megatron-ish. It really did. Like, the CG could have, I don't know, like... The CG was alright, overall. I mean, like, the whole movie, it's like, alright, we know it's all CG, but it, we accept it really quickly. It's really, it's not terrible CG, don't get me wrong, but we can all tell it's CG. But hey, you know, that's the day and age we live in. There were some minor things in the movie that still bugged me, like the twins' phony Russian accent. We all knew that was very fake, <laughs> but whatever. Um, and there was also the, the same beat and rhythm that we felt from the first Avengers movie was clearly still there. Uh, but overall, this movie was very awesome. Did the movie have its flaws? Sure. Did I love it? Yes. Is it my favorite MCU movie? Nah. Winter Soldier still holds that title. It's a summer blockbuster movie, just go with your friends, have fun. Overall, this movie is just ending phase two of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it's starting to push for uh, phase three, which I'm very excited for, and I can't wait to see it. I had a tough time rating this one. I was trying to decide between three and a half or four uh, skulls, 
but I'm gonna go and I'm gonna give it four skulls. Four skulls because, I mean, yeah, like I said, it had the same rhythm and the same beat as the first one. Um, there was a couple of scenes where I was like, ah, I was like, all right, the action was okay, the CG was all right. My review shouldn't even prevent you from seeing this movie. Go see it, you probably already have seen it. So what did you think of Marvel's Avengers Age of Ultron? Let us know in the comments below. I wanna know what you guys thought about. Be on the lookout for future podcasts and our next review on another movie. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Until then, stay focused, stay sharp, and axial on.